this my friends this is what it's all about this is why I love running this channel and doing this content and being a part of the watch uh, collecting community when someone sends you a watch from a brand that you've known all of your life Certina is actually one of those brands that you actually can find everywhere in Sweden it's not an exclusive brand it's a, a kind of a I don't know how to call it but a, a first step into a little more expensive watches if you're used to um, buying G-Shocks and Casios when you're small uh, when you're a small kid and if you like watches and the next step would be Seiko uh, maybe a, a cheaper Seiko and then Certina is at that uh, 500 to uh, 1000 dollars price range and Certina has been with me all my life as a brand that I've known about but that I didn't care about at all because they actually didn't have any watches that appeal to me uh, basically it's simply just that it's a they're actually a reputable brand they've been around since 1888 and as I said I've known about them all my life but I just haven't uh, found them to be appealing enough to buy a Certina actually my father-in-law he has a Certina watch he's been wearing that watch for I don't know 10 15 years all the uh, every, all the time I've known my wife he has worn his Certina every single day and he's the kind of guy that just uh, he just can't stop himself he just fiddles around with stuff all the time if you see something that's broken he has to fix it he restores vintage cars and he has his Certina on his wrist all the time and it hasn't failed him yet he loves that watch and that's why this is so cool when someone you know from a Facebook group sends you a watch from a brand that you've known in your entire life and you didn't care about it all and the watch blows your mind this my friends is the Certina DSPH 200 M let's go <laughs> it didn't it didn't spin as much as I wanted it to <laughs> I'm wearing the Tudor Black Bay GMT today and I've already wasted a lot of your time on that intro so let's take a look at the watch inside I did an unboxing of this watch so I'm not gonna waste your time with the unboxing it's a good enough box a really hefty instructions manual that'll that'll make you have something to read for one night and some warranty cards and uh, stickers and everything that's uh, that usually comes with a watch and here it is just take a look at this let's see your effect when I open this box if it has the same wow factor that it had on me just take a look at it Bam. there it is When, when when I was told he was gonna send me a Certina I really didn't know uh, what Certina he was uh, sending me I actually think he he, uh, he gave me a picture of it but I didn't look at it uh, quite enough I just said sure a Certina great uh, for the channel that'll be super so when I opened up the box it just blew me away this is so cool so retro looking and it just makes it cooler with the turtle shell over there 
if you like the turtles if you're an 80s kid you know that that reminds you of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael forever no sorry Ooh, oh that was really bad mistake of me Michelangelo forever actually I liked Michelangelo more when I was a kid uh, he was the funny guy eating pizza all the time but actually now when my kids are playing with turtles I actually like Raphael more he has uh, the better fighting skills uh, when you're gonna take the watch out of its uh, case you just shouldn't pull on the watch because this is pillow here is one stiff son of a gun you just have to wiggle it out with the help of the pillow because this pillow would actually give you some neck injuries if you were to sleep on it this is the watch we have some spare links down there it's a nice display box but we're not here as I said we're not here to waste your time on the box we're here to waste your time on this magnificent watch and actually I've had this watch for a couple of weeks now I did some uh, shooting at a really nice uh, place I'm gonna show you the footage in this video and then it, it just it I just waited for the right time of day for the Sun to come out and it's been raining a lot here in Sweden because this watch deserves to be shown in some nice weather so it's been sitting in its box for a couple of weeks and I just picked it up right now and as you can see it's ticking it just takes the basic small amount of uh, touch and movement to start ticking look at this it's I mean j just a mess bracelet mess bracelet here no it's a mesh bracelet it's not a mess bracelet uh, comparing this mesh bracelet to the one that I showed you in the uh, stressless watch it's like night and day you see this deployment clasp here it's beautiful I actually prefer a clasp clasp but this actually does it in both ways it's it's a mesh bracelet but it also is kind of a clasp isn't it it's a really cool looking watch it gives you that summer vibe fresh colors it's white it's silver it's some kind of vintage brown uh, something there on the bezel it's really fresh it's a really nice summer beater watch that you can just wear with you on the beach on a nice little stroll around the town on a dinner with your favorite woman in the world and just enjoy it it gives me it makes me happy looking at this what it's just so bright and it's it's not a bunch of colors it's actually mostly white and black and silver because it's stainless steel but it it makes me happy it's 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 uh, it's uh light watch not uh, not light as in the weight but light as in the not dark it's very light to look at okay guys sorry about that uh, the measurements on the web page uh, didn't add up uh, so I just had to uh, do them myself and this is what I found out the diameter of this watch is uh, actually in my measurement it's 41 millimeters and in their measurement is 43 millimeters but I think they've been measuring it on the bezel because as you see the bezel protrudes a little from the actual watch case but the watch case is 41 and if you measure it on the bezel it's 43 the thickness is actually uh, 11 millimeters I don't know how they've uh, managed to say it's 13 I get it to 11 millimeters we have a lug width of 20 millimeters and a lug to lug of 51 millimeters is actually uh, quite a substantial watch if you measure it lug to lug but it actually wears great thanks to this mesh bracelet and the tapering that it offers here we have uh, sapphire glass here we have AR coating underneath and we have uh, 200 meters of water resistance uh, and 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 the case back whoop let's open it up as you can see it's a deployant clasp here push those buttons it opens up and on the back we have an open case back showing you the movement inside and the movement inside is the Powermatic 
80611, which gives you 80 hours of power reserve. And that's great. 80 hours of power reserve. I'm really happy with my tutor giving me approximately 70 hours of power reserve. Takes me through the weekend not wearing it. I actually don't wear it uh, far more than that. But 80 hours is even better. Certina, they've been, a, as we said, they've been around since 1888. So they know a thing about movements and how to uh, perfect them and how to get as much as possible from them from them 80 hours power reserve really great and when you look at this watch you 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 might actually think how it would look on a integrated steel bracelet but this is a vintage inspired watch and it's uh, it actually gives you that vintage look i'm really liking the mesh bracelet even though i uh, I usually like my watches on steel bracelet. I, I usually like like how they um, when they design a watch, how they actually design the whole watch together with the bracelet. How they design the integration between the bracelet and the watch, and how it all is like on, on my Tudor Black Bay. I'm really in love with this bracelet because it's so well done. And actually, as you can see, the design cues from the Tudor uh, logo here on the clasp and it continues down here it's such a cool design but when you uh, put a mesh bracelet on a watch like this it's uh, it's perfectly fine it looks really nice it gives it a vintage and cool look but i actually would have loved to see what they would have done if they actually did it with an integrated uh, steel bracelet or actually an integrated mesh bracelet if that's even possible but that would be really cool but this this is really nice you have um, you can actually you have these points of adjustments here you can remove these links and as you see I've already removed uh, I have 20 centimeters on my wrist circumference and I've removed uh, one two three four of the links and actually you can remove five six seven eight nine ten eleven links you can actually remove it looks like you can remove these as well 11 links you can remove so they give you a lot of bracelets <laughs> for uh, a lot of wrists it fits I guess all people in the world with that size they give you here and it's um, a really nice thing to have one little negative with this bracelet one little downside is that it doesn't have any micro adjustments when you remove to to adjust this watch you have to either remove or add one of these links and it's a five millimeters uh, adjustment so it doesn't give you a really a precise uh, uh, way to adjust your watch it's five millimeters less or five millimeters more more on my Rolex GMT Master 2 I have the same thing it only gives you an adjustment of five millimeters on the fly uh, but it also gives you some micro adjustments inside of the clasp you don't have uh, you don't have any of that here it's either five millimeters or it's nothing but anyway it's a really nice uh, bracelet I'm just gonna put the watch on my wrist here and stop if I can just stop talking for a second I think I can maybe uh, there we go there we go ho 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> and there it is uh, this is this is a watch that fits me perfectly and I'm not just talking about the fit on my wrist 20 centimeters by the way I'm talking about the style it's a it's a leisure I, I don't know it's a it's a really casual watch it grabs my attention with the looks it's so fresh and it's so beautiful and I'm I'm really liking the mess break I'm just I just can't keep saying mess I'm really liking the mesh bracelet here it's uh, I've had a couple of mesh bracelets in my life on my on watches and this is actually the most comfortable I've tried yet the Certina logo there on the clasp it's a beautiful watch and as you can see sure it's 51 millimeters from the lug to lug
but since the bracelet tapers directly it can it can even taper inwards if you understand what I mean it doesn't feel big at all sure I have quite big wrists 20 centimeters it's not a small wrist some people have actually called my wrists gorilla wrists from the watch groups I really don't know what they're talking about I'm not a gorilla in any way I might look like one but I'm not one but but it doesn't look big on me does it and I don't but I think that maybe if you have a little if you have smaller wrists maybe this watch wouldn't fit you that well I really I really can't tell because that it depends on if you like bigger watches or not for me this is a perfect fit and I'm really liking this watch there's really nothing that I would change necessarily sure I would make it so that it had some kind of micro adjustment more than five millimeters if you could just adjust it in some other way giving you just a little more precise uh, uh, options for the adjustment that would be great but considering how it looks it looks fantastic as I said this watch blew me away and the specs on this watch uh, is also fantastic 80 hours of power reserve sapphire glass the price is approximately eight hundred and fifty dollars uh, when you buy it new and it's a great great watch let's just zoom in a little on that dial as you can see the legibility here with that with the white markers on that black dial you can spot the time on this one from far away and then we have the little uh, uh, little hint of patina there with the I don't know if they, they look almost like bronze markings on the bezel insert there or maybe golden really really dark gold Certina logo at the 12 o'clock and we have the date at the 3 o'clock and it's framed it looks really good Swiss made down there sapphire crystal is domed actually but since the bezel sticks up uh, since the bezel is raised as it is you don't feel the doming of the crystal it actually feels flat but if you were to remove the the bezel you can actually see it's it's domed in there feels great it's polished on the side it's a uh, all polished watch and then the bracelet since it's a mesh bracelet you won't have any troubles with scratches and things like that because it actually doesn't show much on a mesh bracelet it's a fantastic watch let's uh, let's maybe listen to the bezel action really loud and confirming clicks as you could hear there and we have a little play in the bezel but it's not like it's clicking between uh, two clicks it's just a little little wobbly in between those clicks but it's actually quite firm and I'm really liking the loudness of it because you, you can't uh, be mistaken when when this bezel turns you actually hear it turning and it's quite a f quite a, a flat of a watch it's actually you might uh, when you uh, when you think about it, it's 20 millimeters lug width and 51 lug to lug and uh, you might think that that it's a big watch and it's that it's a thick watch but it's not it's a really slim watch and it feels slim on your wrist and it feels really nice and really comfortable to wear so the question is would I buy one of these definitely yes I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't hesitate at all if I had the money and if I was uh, looking for a, a vintage inspired watch on a mesh bracelet uh, from a reputable brand uh, with a really great movement I would uh, I wouldn't hesitate at all I would buy this watch uh, maybe I would go for the all black one uh, and not for the vintage one but I actually think that the contrast between 
the uh, gold or bronze bezel insert there and the white and black it makes it more appealing uh, than it would have been if it was only white markings in the bezel insert it's a it's a nice watch i just can't take my eyes off it when i'm when i'm wearing it on my wrist right now it it's it looks so good and it looks it just makes me happy as i said it, it, it and my wife said the same thing with that when I put this watch on she said that oh, that's really a watch for you it goes well with your tattoos uh, and even if you didn't have any tattoos and I've actually thought about you guys who are commenting on my videos that don't like the tattoos I actually have a portion of the video without my tattoos on my other hand on my other you see guys this is a prime example on why it's good to write a comment if you have something negative to say you don't always have to say positive things sometimes you have something some constructive criticism to say and you can just do that by writing a comment and i will actually consider uh, doing the exact thing that you want me to do one uh, person in a video of mine wrote me a comment asked me to feature the watches on my right hand as well because he thought that my tattoos on my left hand were too distracting and taking away from the watch. And I actually thought that that was a great idea. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Featuring the watch on my right hand without any tattoos, without any colors, without anything, just the hand in all its hairy glory. And as you can see, it's dense, dense hair. It's actually not that hairy. Uh, I have actually have people that are way hairier than this uh, I have people that we actually call werewolves here in Sweden and actually my aunt's wife and my <laughs> my my aunt's husband is one of those werewolves not my aunt's wife's and but there we have it the Sertina on a non tattooed hand looking great nothing to distract from it that's what it looks like And there we go now back to the tattoos and even if you didn't have the tattoos it's a nice watch for a really good price and uh, yeah that's all for me the Certina DSPH 200M okay Loom Lunatics I know you've been waiting for this here you go the Loom on the Certina nothing special you see it's really legible even from far away that's my hand stretched out as far as I can go. Uh, you have a loom pip at the 12 o'clock. No other loom markings on the bezel. We have a really legible hour hand. And you can see the second hand ticking away there. It's nicely loomed. Nothing special. Nothing wow, Nothing that will wow you. But uh, actually, I don't know how Certina is with loom on other occasions. Do they do great loom? You uh, Certina guys out there. Do they usually do great loom and maybe they're just not focused on the loom on this vintage inspired watch or do they have mediocre loom this is actually quite good but it fades quite quickly uh, i can almost i don't know if you can see it on the camera but when i'm looking at it straight straight on here it it seems really uh, it has faded almost like 20 or 30 percent of the original all powered up juice and uh, i don't know how much loom it would hold for how many hours but there it is the loom on the certina now back to the video really great watch thanks for lending me this watch thanks for the opportunity uh, for me to showcase this watch on the channel I'm really glad to have made such nice friends here in uh, Sweden in the watch groups and all of you that are watching and giving me positive comments and also all of you giving me negative comments as long as it's constructive uh, uh, negativity I'm really liking it because it helps me grow uh, I'm not the best out there and I know it I'm far from it I'm just I'm a nobody actually and I want to do better I want to become better at this so that I can give you better videos anyway if you like the video you know the drill please consider giving it a thumbs up maybe subscribing if you want to and if you didn't like it just give me that old thumbs down write me a comment on what you didn't like and I promise that I'll try to do better the next time and until the next time this has been the back in time watch channel 
and the Certina DSPH200. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.